It is currently 7 a.m. at Matheson Lake. Whoa, my goodness. I've been walking for about half an hour. The track said it was about 20 minutes, I think. But I think I went down the wrong way. I just saw a glimpse of it. Well, actually, I saw a lot of it, and it looks incredible. Hold on tight. Currently at Lake Matheson. I'm going to the very last view, which is called the View of Views. Hopefully, it lives up to its name. It's right there, but I don't want to have a look. You guys can have a look before I do. I'm gonna let you guys see before me. I can have a look. No peeking. Big view, no peeking, no peeking, no peeking. I think I'm missing the sunrise. I mean, you guys can get, get to see it first. I'm not looking. I wanna to get to the view of views before I make any judgment. So I'll have to have a look at this video, playback. See how we feel. It's been about 10 minutes since the sign that said five minutes to the view of views. So it's been about 20 minutes. Pretty sure what it is, is I've missed it. And this track is just taking me back all the way to the car park. It's going all the way around the lake. Made it to the lake and pretty much got there. And there was a whole group of people. That's all right. It was nice to meet them and took photos for them and things like that. but. Word of advice, when you get to the fork in the road, choose the left road because the right had absolutely nothing. And I got there and sun was already up. So I'd spent about an hour walking by that time. So really, take the left path, word of advice. Word from the wise, as they say. Not very wise, but look at this, look at that tree. All right, hey guys, I'm at Fox Glacier today. It's absolutely beautiful. Surrounded by these things. And this bloke over here, right here. Good old Ocker. Ocker bloke. What's your name, mate? Oh, it's Gary, mate. How you going? Hey, Gary, how are you? Well, you're not too bad, thanks, mate. How, how are the conditions today, man? Uh, let me just turn the camera around. Yeah, it's, it's really good today, mate. It's actually, uh, as it says right here, it says bloody good. I should have written bloody good here instead, but, you know, I got, got a bit lazy. You know what I'm saying? All right. About 450 metres from the glacier. So, don't even worry about it, mate. You'll get heaps, heaps good view, eh? Heaps, of, heaps good view. Look at this chick. She's rocking, rocking the sunscreen. The, uh, the now as we know, the hipster cap by all Melburnians and those sunnies of course. Don't forget the sick sunnies. Beautiful. And those bloody hipster boots, eh? Ooh, okay. Check the weather forecast. 2pm the same day. Right, okay. Right, see you, Gary. Oh, see you, mate. Look at this place. Jeez. Look at that. Surrounded by beauty. All right, forces of nature building a dramatic landscape. Take note, any architects, landscapers around here, if you want to win some awards, this is how you do it. Feel free to pause the video as well, by the way. Pretty awesome. You just can't fathom how incredible this is until you're actually here. Videos, photos did not do it justice at all. Woo! Selfie time. Not sure if that worked or not, but. All right. So I had to switch to the, um, to the DSLR because my fingers were frozen. And I had to keep taking my, uh, my gloves off every time I wanted to, to make a video. So I thought, nah, stuff that shit. I mean, crap, stuff that crap. 
I'm gonna just use the DSLR, just roll with it. So hopefully you can see behind me what I'm walking through at the moment. Go and see the glaciers. It's gonna be incredible, I can see. Little chub poking out of the mountains over there. Let's see how we go. Freezing my ass off. But now I have a free hand. Put the, um, the, the tripod on my back. So much better. Just alleviates all that stress and pressure and the gloves are back on. So that, okay, I take back what I said about the gloves earlier. They actually do something. I mean, yeah, it's still really cold underneath there, but it actually, you know, it actually deflects the wind and I'd love to hear some of your favourite places that you've been to as well. Because um, I mean, I'm only spending three weeks here, so maybe if any locals or any tourists that have properly visited New Zealand, anything that's sort of out of the ordinary and not super touristy, I'd love to know about it for next time because I'm definitely coming back to this place. This is like mind blowingly cool. I mean, look at that. That's not a view you see every day. But this is just a whole completely different world. I, I can see why Lord of the Rings was was made here and filmed here. I mean, I spoke to to some some um, lovely Canadians yesterday that I met at the hostel. Offered them wine because <laughs> I, I was just craving some wine. I had to offer them some, and they were just sitting there by themselves, not really talking to anyone. So I, I was sort of went over and said hello and gave them some wine. Offered everyone else in the in the um, in the room some wine. It was just that um, in the lounge room. Um, shouts out to Haley and Scott. Loveliest people. Uh, they they gave me so much insight on where to go. And I definitely don't think I'm gonna have time to do all of it. But just the things that they've said they've seen and the photos that they showed me as well was just crazy. Like, they've done, you know, three-day hikes and things like that. And God bless their soul. I added them on Facebook, so I'm going to keep in contact with them because they're coming to Melbourne in September. So I can't wait to catch up with you guys again. <clears throat> Thanks so much again for putting up with my bullshit. So. <laughs> One more thing that I forgot to mention as well, Scott and Haley last night, they, they were saying that if you want beaches, then go up north of the South Island, where they pretty much don't have any mountains. It's more or less beaches and like national parks, which would be incredibly lovely. But I think for me personally, because there aren't any mountains around, not there aren't any mountains, but nothing quite like this. So you sort of want to go down towards the west coast that's where a lot of the incredible views are currently dying going up this big hill <laughs> bit of an incline i'm so unfit right now it's been what four months since i've properly exercised and done the thousand steps back at home back in Ventry gully get off Ventry gully earlier this or towards the end of last year i was really pushing myself and just pretty much trying to go every day when I wasn't really doing too much with my time. And then uni happened and then I sort of stopped and got slack. Put on a bit of weight, as you can tell by my double chin. You know what? Enjoy your life, eat the food that you want. Don't stress about being fit or anything like that for now. Like while you're young, I know it's all about that summer bod and everything, but honestly, I think if you have good food, good mates, good family, good wine, you can't really go wrong. So, wow. <sighs> Stunning. Up here you can see a helicopter for the helicopter ride for the glaciers, which cost about Cost roughly about three hundred dollars. 
350 if I recall correctly. Went to the information center yesterday and asked about it. And yeah, you'll probably see a lot more. I sort of don't have that money to blow at the moment. Especially being here for three weeks and not working and things like that. So I'm really gonna save my money. I'm really struggling to get up this hill. I'll tell you what, it's really actually difficult walking up a big hill with all that gear on your back. I've got the holy trinity of lenses. For those that don't know, it's sort of like the three go-to lenses that a lot of the professional photographers use. It covers pretty much a whole range of distances and focal lengths. It's freaking heavy, I can tell you that. I'm walking up this big fat hill. Not easy. And I've also got the uh, Manfrotto on the back. Trusty tripod. Bringing that for selfies and things like that. Epic shots. The good old Manfrotto. Manfrotto! Frotto! Manfrotto! I'm gonna stop. Shouts out to the boys. Sorry, Ferraro. Not today, buddy. Oh, it's Gary's brother. Hey, Gary. Number two. Gary Jr., isn't it? Yeah, that's right, mate. There you go. Yeah, good, thanks. Is this about as close as we can get? Yeah, mate, that's about right. About as close as you can get. Pretty nice, though, isn't it? Yeah, Gaz. Gaz Jr. Gaz JR. Good stuff. Don't make the same fatal mistake. Stay behind the barriers. Glacier collapse kills tourists. That won't be me, Gary. Don't worry about it. Yeah, thanks, mate. It's helicopters. See how nice this water is. Ooh, that's cold. Try drink it. For those of you wondering, we had to um, part ways with with Remy and Will. It's, it was such a great night. We just hung out and talked shit and drank wine and had dinner together. Um, hopefully I get to see those guys again sometime soon on the track or maybe even back at home. So, shouts out to you guys. Well, no touching the past controls. Um, Unfortunately, we can't take any handbags on the helicopter. It will be quite windy, and it also just eliminates the risk of getting caught on controls and everything. Um, so any questions? You can take these buttons. Oh yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, the ones that go up. So yeah. <laughs> Yeah, how good is it? <laughs> yes. Can I call shotgun? <laughs> yes. Awesome. Oh. That was perfect timing. Yeah. They drove oh. past them. Oh, I think, what were they doing? They were walking past or something? Yeah, they were walking. With them people? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, you're like, oh no, we, we didn't know whether we wanted to do it or not because it's. There's a need for four people for yeah, this machine. Yeah. yeah. We've got another machine that takes three, but that's what like it's not here at the moment, so oh, okay. we're only really limited to one machine. I'll do it these other people anyway. Have you been doing this for long? Not really, but a few weeks now. A few weeks, wow. I'm still pretty new to it. Yeah, but just getting comfortable with it. Yeah. Where else are you guys from? Australia. Australia? Are you all together? Welcome to no. Mate. Oh, no. We just met up the road. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> taking photos of the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. She's in her own will. Yeah. <laughs> she just doesn't look. Did she just help herself onto the chopper? Pardon? Did she just help herself into the chopper? Uh, no. She's. She so, do you pilot him as well? Pilot? Yeah. No, nah, not yet. But yeah. Alright, so we're going to have a bit of a delay because these people down here, the. Um, going hiking on the glacier, 
Right. So Nathan's just going to drop them off. Sure. Because they're doing wedding photos. Wow. So they're all dressed up and everything. That's a hectic thing to do. Jeez. Yeah. So, How long have they got on the glacier? Uh, well, on a hike, they're going to have three hours on there. Wow. So, yeah, so they're just taking all their photos. So they were, when I went up there, they were running late. Yeah. So Nathan would have, like, uh, he would have booked you in. Oh my god, that was insane, that was incredible. Worth it, every single penny. If you come in um, low season, we just paid about $119 per person. We had about five people in there. Um, Fox Glacier, do it, it's worth it. So, after the, um, the helicopter ride, I've pretty much just been driving. There's not really much to see along the west coast road down to Wanaka. Um, essentially, just drive for about two to three hours and then get to Wanaka. So, but I've stopped now at a f waterfall. Here it is. Blue pool. stuff. It's pretty impressive. That's a big one. Alright, I'm gonna try and add some on top. Good flat one. That one. That's fun. Try and make our way back and then try and get to Wanaka in time. Book a hostel so I can start Uploading some some more videos. I think it's been a couple of days since I've uploaded one. Oh, that's a nice one. Look at that one. 